Hello there lovely people, this is me Ashley sending you my love from whatever reality I'm in to you and whatever reality you find yourself in today. Um, well, first of all before I go into this video, um, thanks to Jeanette who has uh, recently joined our little family here, welcome, uh, suggested that um, I try Periscope which is a free app and it means that we can talk to each other, I can live stream and we can talk to each other in real time. So that's what I've done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And with the um, the threat that YouTube are going to take down little uh, little channels like this because there's no money to be made from me and other people that do what I do. Um, so with that in mind, I also think it's an even better idea to have a backup as to where we can speak to each other and keep in contact. So if you'd uh, like to join me on Periscope. It's just easy. It's in the Google, it's in the Google App Store. Um, my name is Mandela Affected at Reality Sliders, and you can find me there. Please do join me, and let's do some live stuff and actually talk to each other. Right. So, to the subject of this video, which is what have we learned? Well, the first thing that I learned was that uh, people from Sagittarius came over to. The Orion Arm, but it, as I've said before, it wasn't just um, the Orion Arm. You haven't just joined Orion, because I'm from the original Orion, and we've both changed. But throughout the journey of this last year, desperately trying to find out what's going on, I, um, I've researched loads of things, absolutely loads of things, uh, that, you know, holographic, uh, holographic universe, simulation, D-Wave, CERN. I was already very interested in CERN, any, in CERN anyway, and when they found the Higgs boson, I was like, overjoyed, it's the God Particle! <laughs> However, all of these things put together, and I'm not disrespecting anybody who believes that they've cracked the case and they know exactly what's going on. Uh, after a year of desperately trying to find out, I haven't got a clue. Not a clue. But the one thing that I found that is the most like what we're actually going through is the Hopi prophecy of the red and blue Kachina. And it's end time, it's an end time prophecy. And it speaks of the end of the fourth world and the beginning. Of, this is, we're in the fourth world now. Well, we're not, we seem to have moved. But we're in the fourth world and we're about to move into the fifth. Now, don't disrespect the Hopi prophecies because, you know, it's based on some kind of truth. Now, the first thing that makes me um, drawn to this as being more of a natural thing that's, that we're going through, because my first, uh, my first changes were in the 1980s before CERN ever happened. So it wasn't that, was it? I'm not saying that CERN has nothing to do with it, because I think they probably have. I think CERN does have something to do with it. Although I do also believe that it's a natural phenomena, and I do so. And the Hopi prophecy of the blue and red Kachina um, explains that we, uh, during the the transition between the old world, the fourth, and going into the new world, that we will be drifting through realities. They call it the dream time, and it says that reality will not be as we know it. It mentions that um, you know that we uh, that things appear that weren't there before. The, all kinds of things with this prophecy, but it's the fact that they talk about shifting in the dream time between realities so that they don't actually know what's going to happen at the end because reality will not be as we know it. And we already know this because we're living through it. Anyway, I um, have been looking into that some more and I found something that says it's called Sai Papu, I think it is. Uh, the Hopi Indians, uh, they have. Sai Papu, and that is an interdimensional door which opened at the end. Excuse me, at the end of the third uh, world, took taking them to the safety of the of the fourth world, the one that we belong to, and they went through this interdimensional portal created by the Creator. The Creator open this portal opens up. It's from the Creator. It opens up, and it takes the Hopi to the next world and that's how they arrived on on the fourth world that we all come from so the same thing happens 
with the you know in in the Hopi prophecy about Sipapu or Saipapu is going to happen for the fourth between the fourth and the fifth world. Now this actually it lines up with the uh, the Mayans. They said it was the end of an age and the beginning of a new world. Now we as Mandela affected people we know we know it actually means an actual new world. The, you know the uh, the map of the world is could be so different now to the one that we know and miss terribly. It's so different. So we know for a certain fact the Mandela affected that we do we have moved into another world although at the moment we're skipping through nothing settled nothing settled so has the saipapu portal already been opened i think this could be happening because we are moving to somewhere else not everybody moves to, oh it's it's all very confusing you know that because we're trying to make sense of something that doesn't but considering the Hopi prophecies are all about reality changes and I mean they even go as far as to say that some of we will carry spirits of others within us you know our bodies will not be will carry spirit other spirits within the body animals that have been from the past will come forward new animals will appear all kinds of different things and that reality reality is a massive part of this prophecy and then there's this Sai Papu which is a an interdimensional portal which takes the Hopi safely into the next into the next age world world so that's really it's the only thing that I've actually found that has any real bearing on what we're going through but I'm sure that you've realized yourselves being you know quite intelligent that that sounds a little bit like the rapture, doesn't it? Sounds a little bit like the rapture to me. And the thing is, it doesn't just mean the Hopi as in the Hopi tribes. It means anybody that the creator deems is worthy. Now, I have a problem with that because I don't feel, I don't feel worthy of anything, quite frankly. Why would I be being sent somewhere special? To me, it's all sounding... It's, it, I'm not moving anywhere pleasant. So, you know, I, I'm not sure about being chosen, but it certainly does seem to explain that we're going through realities and that we, a portal opens and people are removed to the new, the new reality, the new world. And that does sound awfully like the rapture in Christianity, although quite frankly, the um, the Mandela effect it trans it transcends all religions you know everybody with with any, we are we affected people are from all religions and no religion so it's not about that but we, what I mean the Hopi themselves say no matter what you call the deity no matter what you call it it's the same thing it's the same thing so it's just the same thing with a different name. And that, um, the Hopi prophecy of the um, the realities, is exactly what we're going through. But it, it intrigues me, the portal opening and us, and us, not us, because I'm not really sure whether that's what we're going through, but being taken to to a place of safety, which is the forever world in this case, in the in the case of from the fourth to the fifth. Um, I'm not. I, this is why we. I, I said in a previous. Um, I said in a previous video that this is why we have to think about and connect. Try and connect to the old myths and legends because they're based on. I think different worlds, different times, different realities. Very much true. All of those things that we think are myths and legends. I think they're true. I do, and also that everything from the Hopi to Christianity, to Judaism, to um, Islam, to Buddha, everybody, are all cre it's, there's always one creator, the one creator, it's always the same one, no matter what you call it. But certainly the Hopi um, Sai Papu um, removal to the place of safety through an interdimensional portal does sound like the rapture, doesn't it? So I just wondered what you thought about that. What you know, what what have you been trying to link and put together? 
You know, I mean, when it comes to it, we still, I, none of us still know. I haven't got a clue. I'm not saying that I've cracked the case because I haven't cracked the case at all. I've just, it's just that the hope of prophecy is definitely the thing that's making most sense to me right now. I do think that, um, that there are evil forces at work um, and CERN may very well have something to do with that. I, you know, I, I do think that. I do think that, you know, quantum computers are a little bit involved in it all, but I don't, we don't know, it's just thoughts and sharing, and that's, I mean, that's where I'm at at the minute, you know, I'm still desperately trying to find answers, the answer, and what I can come up with is that it all seems to be, whether you're a Hopi or a Christian, or, you know, whether you, I mean, I know a lot of us have got really the belief in the creator has got stronger since we found ourselves affected but it's all the same story it's all the same just the names are different so it's about spreading love that's what it's about we have to pump as much love out there as we possibly can because that ultimately is what life's about spreading sharing the love so with that in mind, beautiful people, until next time, I'm sending my love to you all.